guys, Nubasaurus here uh, with a invention of mine. This is my first invention ever. Uh, and I'm pretty sure no one else has done this on YouTube. I really hope they didn't because otherwise I'm make myself look like a jackass. But uh, I invented a Schmidt trigger. And I'm actually really proud of it. It's really small. Uh, it's these six components right here. The block, the redstone, the repeater, and the three comparators. But uh, you know, the little backstory is I was sitting in electronics class today, and I was learning about uh, Schmidt triggers and how they work and what they do. And uh, I was thinking, you know, this is this is pretty simple. It's uh, you know, just a couple of op amps with variable rising and falling trigger levels. Why not uh, why not use a couple of comparators and build it in Minecraft? You know, it seems pretty simple enough. Well, uh, <laughs> a few hours later, I managed to build it, and it didn't seem to be as simple as I thought it would be. Um, <coughs> What I had in my head was uh, <laughs> a lot smaller, a lot, lot smaller. And um, yeah, so so how it works is uh, basically, I do want to give credit here. This is Cube Hamster's Triangle Pulse Generator or Real AC Generator. Um, I just kind of modified it so that it would be a little bit slower, so we could actually see what's going on. But uh, how it works is the AC pulse is being sent into here, and uh, obviously also being sent to my input scope so that we can see what the level is at and uh, as it gets sent through here it uh, this is in comparison mode so if this is stronger than this it's going to stay off but as soon as it gets stronger than that it turns on and uh, the output scope indicates that and it gets fed back into here now this is my falling trigger level and the falling tr trigger level is uh, subtracting 15 or whatever, yeah, 15 from uh, that, which then goes into the rising trigger level, which then subtracts it again and goes into here. And as long as it, uh, you know, because the values changed now, as long as this remains greater than the new value, that'll stay on. But as soon as it drops below, it turns off, just like, just like you know, a real Schmidt trigger. So uh, these are the two variable inputs, the falling trigger level and the rising trigger level, and uh, you know, the, the rising trigger level is pretty straightforward. Uh, if it's a 14, the rising trigger level is a 14, which means it won't turn on till it reaches 14, as indicated by the light over there. And uh, if it's at, you know, something else like uh, 2, it won't turn on till the light reaches 2. Uh, the falling trigger level, though, it's a little bit more complex because uh, it's actually equal to the falling trigger value minus the difference of 15 minus the rising trigger level. So right now it's at 2, as you can see, but it's actually falling below 1 because this is at 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay? You following me so far? Good. <laughs> So, um, you know, right now, if it's set to uh, 1 and 14, which means if it is above 14, it'll turn on, and if it's below 1, it'll turn off. But anywhere in between, it stays in its original state. So, uh, let's say I were to set it to, I don't know, 11, so that's 14, 13, 12, 11, okay? Now this obviously won't work because, you know, 11, 15 minus 11 is 4, and 2 minus 4, that's a negative number, so we actually have to change this to 5 in order to bring it back.
I might put up a schematic. I don't know for download. You can uh, download it, I guess. I'll, if I do put it up, I'll leave it in the description. Go ahead and check it out, and I will be seeing you guys later.